in our previous session we have already seen if the user is logged in instead of displaying login session okay that is button we have to display here logout button and we have done this in all the files let me just come to products details and inside this also you can see i am having here logout because user is already logged in now for logout i have not written any logic now when i click on this logout it is not going to work so i'll just come to home page and inside this here also if the user is logged in then i should be getting the username okay instead of welcome guest i should be displaying okay whichever user is active that username i have to display here so i'll just come to index.php and inside this we have already started the session here you can see we have already started the session and we have written this line of code let me just come here and we have checked for the condition if this session is not active only then i have to display this login or else i should display this logout okay we have seen this now what i am going to do here here also i am just going to check for the condition inside this php script itself i am just going to copy this and here i am going to paste if this session is not active i'll copy this li from here i'll just remove this and instead of that i am just going to paste that one i'll just remove all the double quotes from here double quotes okay i am just telling if this session is not active only then i have to display this welcome guest else inside this else i just have to display here welcome and also i'm just going to remove this one i don't need this here i just have to write welcome that username i'll just concatenate with this and inside user login dot php we have already created this session let me just come down you can see we have already created this session variable and inside that we are just storing the username so i'm just going to copy this session username and inside this index.php i'm just going to concatenate with this one i'll just write here dot and i'll just close this one okay this is how we are going to concatenate this double quote and this double quote is closing here i'm just doing concatenation here dot i'm adding this line again i'm just concatenating i'm just writing here double quotes and here again i'm having this double quotes this double quote and this double quote will be matched here okay this is how we are going to work with session here let me just change here single quote i'll save this okay what i am telling if this session is not set then i should display welcome guest if this session is logged in then i should be writing this welcome and whatever name stored inside the session variable i just have to display that one and below that i'm just checking for the condition if this session is not set then i should be displaying login button or else i should display this logout now i'll come here you can see here i'm having welcome guest and here i'm having logout button logout button indicates we are having one user and that user is already logged in now whichever user is logged in that user name should be displayed here now if i just refresh this one you can see i'll be getting welcome khanam okay khanam is logged in so i'm getting here welcome khanam okay this is how we are going to display the username so in the same way whatever we have done here i'll just copy the same thing and each and every page i'm just going to change that one and inside product details.php i'll just come on top and here i'll just remove this line and inside this php i'm just going to paste that one now i'll refresh this now i'll come to products okay here i have not changed i'll come to display all dot php and inside this also i'm just going to paste that one first i'll just remove this line and inside this php i'm just going to paste that now if i refresh this you can see i'll be getting welcome khanam again the same line of code inside search product wherever you are having welcome guest change there again i'll just come here i'll remove this and inside this php i'm just going to paste that one now i'll just refresh here let me come to home page inside this i'll just search for apple now you can see inside this search product dot php also i'm getting this welcome khanam okay here inside this search we have not added the cart let me just add the link here and also i'm just going to change here i'll just change the spelling user area i'll just change here user area here also i'll write user area and inside this cart here we are having cart and here i'm just going to write cart dot php i'll save this now i'll refresh this one now when i click on this cart you can see i'm redirected to cart dot php and inside this also i just have to change that one i'll come to cart dot php and inside this let me just remove this one instead of this i'm just going to paste that one i'll save this now i'll refresh this now inside cart also i am having now i'll just click on checkout button 
and inside checkout also I just have to paste that one. I will come to checkout.php and inside this here I will be removing this one. Okay, wherever you are having welcome guest, just paste this code here. Now I will refresh this. You can see I am having welcome khanam. Okay, this is how we are going to display this one. Next, we are going to write the logic for logout. Once I click on logout, instead of displaying welcome khanam, I should be getting welcome guest and also I should be getting here login button. In this session itself, I am just going to continue with this logout logic. Okay, now when I click on this logout, all the session variables, whatever I have created for user, that should be destroyed. Okay, that entire thing should be destroyed. So, here we have already created this logout.php. Now, here first I am just going to write this PHP code. I will just close this PHP syntax. Inside this, first I have to do, I have to start the session here. Once I start the session, I have created the session. Now, I have to destroy the session. And also, I have set some variables inside that one. And also, I have to unset that. So, for that we are having session unset session unset okay now what it is going to do first it is going to start the session then whatever variables i have set inside the session that will be unset then after that i just have to destroy the session okay whatever session i have created for the user i am just destroying that one and inside checkout.php when i click on this logout button i am redirected to logout.php okay this particular file now i'll come here i'll refresh this one now when i click on this logout I am redirected to logout.php. Okay, later on again I should be redirected to checkout.php. Okay, that link we are going to add. Now when I come back, you can see here I am having login and here I am having welcome guest. Okay, now here I am having login and welcome guest. Now let me just come to checkout.php. Now inside checkout.php, here I am having this home. Let me just come up. You can see here I am having this home. Now I have to come outside of this. I will save this one. I will refresh. Now, when I click on home page, you can see inside home page also I am having welcome guest and here I am having login button. Now, what I am going to do inside this index.php, here I am having this logout. Here I have already given this one. Let me just change the spelling user area and here also I will be giving user area. Inside display all.php also I am just going to change the spelling. Okay, wherever I have written wrong, I am just changing that one. If previously if you have done correctly, then you do not have to change inside product details also i'm just going to change okay what i have done i have just destroyed the session and inside search product i have already changed okay i have already changed now everything is fine let me just come to checkout.php and inside this i have just given all these things and also let me just give the path here here i'll be writing user registration.php and contact we are not going to work and here we are having welcome guest and welcome okay rest everything is fine inside this logout.php once i once all the session variables are destroyed i should not be redirected to login page so for that here i'll be writing echo and inside this let me just write a script tag script and here i'll be closing the script tag inside this i'll just write here window.open and I should be redirected to index.php file. Let me just write here index.php. And also I am just going to write here self. I will come here. I will refresh this one. I will click on login. I will just login using Khanam. I will be writing 1, 2, 3, 4. Login. Login successful. OK. I am redirected to payment page. Now again I will just come back. You can see here I am having logout. Now, when I click on this logout, I am getting redirected to index.php file and here I am having this login. Okay, I am just getting redirected to index.php file. As soon as I click on logout button, I should be redirected to home page. Okay, this is the logic I have written. Now, next what we are going to do, we are going to work on user admin page. Now, in each and every file, it will be changed. You can see inside products also, it will be changed inside cart. Now, when I click on checkout, I am having this login page. Instead of payment, I am having here login. Now again let me just log in using Khanam. 1, 2, 3, 4. Login. Now you can see I am having here payment page. I will come back. You can see I am having payment page. Okay. This is how we are going to work. And here also I am having welcome Khanam. And here I am having logout button. As soon as I click on logout. You can see I am redirected to index.php file. And here I am having welcome guest. And here I am having login button. 
Okay, now we are done with this entire logic and later on we are going to start with user dashboard page where user can see all the details whatever user has ordered user can edit everything whatever orders user can cancel the orders okay based on the user requirement user can do everything 